Is there a competition to for the starting running back job? There's always been a competition for the positions on this team. Look that way, look that way, look that way. Look that way, look that way. Look that way. So at this point, do you guys have a set number in mind for how many guys you want to keep for each position, or is it that still working? Um, we have numbers, and and like you know, uh, tight end is going to be a tremendous discussion. Running back will be an unbelievable discussion. Um, is it going to be nine, ten, or eleven DBs? You know, that's be another discussion in it. But if you do that, what happens to your linebackers' numbers? Is it is it is it seven, six, or five? You know, what's your D line number? So. We'll have to, we'll, we're, we're still, I mean, you know, we write the number down and then we put the placard underneath them and you sit there and go, okay, wow, okay, but then you got to reach over to the other position you've taken. So we go through that exercise pretty, uh, uh, pretty often right now. And with Curtis having played Saturday, now two straight practices, do you feel like this is a, a probably one of his better stretches in terms of his participation? Yes, very much so. One of the things that we talked about was just how much more. Um, you know, again, like I said, there is a plan, a very fluid plan. Uh, it's, it's almost adaptable as he, he starts to get, you know, the, um, the callousness he needs to, to, to practicing every day. We increase a little bit more, a little bit more each day. Um, these last two days have been a delight. It really has because we've been able to put some things in for him specifically. Um, and we'll see how he is uh, when he comes in tomorrow morning. And I know Al and I talked a little bit about it. Uh, we were encouraged that Curtis wanted to do more today. Um, it really was it really actually it's been kind of cool to watch him you know come back and, and, and really be more and more confident about where he is so we'll continue with that I think camp's been going really well you know uh, 
in training camp, uh, you know, there's going to be, you know, there's going to be ups and downs. You got to work through things. Obviously, guys get dinged up, so you got to adjust to, you know, who's out there in every given day. Um, but I feel like, you know, our guys are getting better and better each day, and that's what you work towards is just, just that steady growth and steady improvement, so you can be as good as possible you know when that first game hits and then continue to improve uh cars has been outstanding you know he's an outstanding communicator um you know we've had great uh back and forths um he he really you know it's important to him obviously football is important to him um just going back starting even in the off season you know he dove right in um to learn you know learn our offense and learn what we do um you know get to know his teammates uh, and every day you can see, you know, that comfort level of his increasing. Um, and I've been, you know, really pleased with that, um, you know, and the work he's done with his teammates, getting to know them, just getting a feel for, you know, how they play, the guys he's throwing the ball to. And um, I just feel like, you know, he's getting comfortable and in turn, you know, we're getting better. Yeah, so I do. I continue. I, I do expect that to continue. Um, you know, obviously, we can, you know, you can always change your mind, but I don't anticipate that at this point. Uh, the the communication, I think the communication, obviously with Carson, but also just with the other guys on the offense, um, just being able to speak directly to them if there's something that I need to say um, is huge, you know. And and then being down in there, being you know, you're kind of more, you feel like you're a little bit more part of the game. Um, that part is important. But the number one thing is just just having that communication mainly with the quarterback. When did you kind of decide that, or how did you kind of come to that? Uh, it's something I've been thinking about really over the course of the entire offseason, even, you know, as soon as the season ended, um, you know, do I want to make that change? Um, at practice, you know, there's things that me and Carson will talk about that I think are really valuable for myself and for him, you know, just how he's seeing things and hearing it directly from him, not, you know, through another person or not having to get him on the phone or, get, you know, have somebody give him a headset. Um, you know, and then stuff that I can say to him. And, and then that really confirmed it where it's like, hey, I think this is important to have that direct line of communication. And uh, talked to Coach Rivera about it, and he was all for it, so just decided to go with it. That, that's one of the first things that we talk about uh, when we when we get together um, as an offense when training camp started is protect the football. Uh, you know, we can't have we can't waste possessions. You know, and obviously, if you fumble the ball, um, that's a that's a waste of a possession. So, you know, that's a, a ball carrier's first first job is to protect the ball. So, you know, we can't have that. He knows that. I'm not saying anything to you guys that hasn't already been said to Antonio. I read his his comments. I know he said the same thing, um, and it's something that that has to be fixed. Brian's been great. He's a real serious guy. Um, you know, football is extremely important to him. He takes a lot of pride in, uh, you know, being a physical runner. But he, he can he can run too. And uh, I was I was happy and impressed with him the way that he ran. You know, some things. Um, you know, he wasn't perfect on his tracks and stuff like that. But he runs so hard, he was still able to gain positive yardage. Um, and, uh, you know, that, that's, that's great to see from a back, and I think he'll continue to get better, too, um, as, he, as the reps increase. I mean, that's his first time ever playing in a game where you're getting tackled in the league. So.